at 10. It's law. Yeah! Act 16 signed into law by Governor Wolf April 17, 2016. For many Pennsylvanians, it literally marks a life-changing day. For some, a life-saving day. Three years ago, Pennsylvania's medical marijuana industry took off, and today, more than 100,000 patients are certified statewide. Thanks for staying with us tonight. I'm Evan Forrester. Millions of dollars are coming into the Commonwealth, and as Fox 43's Matt Mazel reports, it has advocates excited about what's next, and medical professionals saying, you ain't seen nothing yet. I know. You're doing so good. That was our big one. Ryan Briggs is having a seizure. The crackling sound of the saliva being suctioned from Ryan's mouth, a daily reminder for his mom, Diana. There were times where Ryan had been awake for 72 hours seizing, um, and we just prayed for sleep. Both of Ryan's past and how far he's come. We have now taken Ryan from over 400 seizures a day at his worst to now most days under 50. Obviously, these aren't all the children. Senator Mike Fulmer has a daily reminder, too. There's a Heather Shuker's child, there's Jackson Salami, Ryan right there. A tapestry hanging in his Capitol office. Children benefiting from Pennsylvania's medical marijuana program. Cannabis for Mike Fulmer wasn't about the buzz. It was about the patient. Three years ago, Fulmer became close with Ryan and his family. He, as one of the state's top conservatives, joined Senator Dalen Leach, one of Harrisburg's most liberal Democrats, to pass SB3. Now Act 16 of 2016, Pennsylvania is one of 33 states with a medical marijuana program. 21 conditions are covered, including autism, cancer, chronic pain, epilepsy, opioid addiction, and PTSD, helping to date more than 100,000 patients statewide. We're not done in the research here as we go on forward. We know that it's a safe medication. We know that marijuana by accident could help people. I want to know why. Which brings us here, Farrell, Pennsylvania. This once proud steel town, 80 miles south of Erie, is home to Pennsylvania's newest medical marijuana grower plant, Pharmaceutical RX. It's one of 13 fully operational grower processor plants, 10 of which are shipping medical cannabis out to Pennsylvania's nearly 50 dispensaries. This is an 83 year old brick uh, industrial building and we kind of like to keep the character of it. CEO Rebecca Myers gave Fox 43 an exclusive look at the new facility back in February. It's really exciting. <laughs> Department of Health rules against visiting are so strict we can't even show you what the inside looks like today. We can only tell you marijuana plants are growing. They will take 24 weeks to fully cultivate and process before it's shipped to dispensaries. What separates Pharmaceutical RX from other growers in the state, possibly even the country, is what they're doing to study the compounds in marijuana. Highlighted by what is going to be taking place in this room. It doesn't look like much now, but pretty soon, thanks to a partnership with Penn State, they hope to transform the way marijuana is used as medicine. With changing environmental factors, we might be able to increase the expression of those other molecules to get a sufficient amount to start asking questions about how they interact with our body and how they might be beneficial as well. In other words, doctors at Pharmaceutical RX are hoping to find cures for diseases using cannabis. We're just straightforward about it. We're looking to actually improve global health. It's a big statement. These cells uh, are dying, not just dying in a way. Meanwhile, at Penn State Hershey Medical, Dr. Zhang Yun shows us what happens when marijuana is mixed with pancreatic cancer cells. And one of the compounds we have tested um, indicates that it can do so by killing those cancer cells, what you just saw. Dr. Yoon, alongside Dr. Kent Vrana, are studying if cannabis can actually help illuminate cancer cells inside the body, making it easier for our immune cells to fight back. Today, their tests on colon and pancreatic cancer show marijuana is actually helping to eliminate cancerous cells. And that's what we want to figure out. If they're effective, how are they effective? I'm going to go get your food, okay? Let's have some lunch. Put that in. <laughs> I hear you. Diana Briggs knows marijuana works for Ryan's epilepsy. Nothing ever stopped them or, or lessened them. It was, he's having a seizure. He'll likely never be seizure free. That little movement right there is a seizure. And just a single 0 0.03 milliliter drop she gives to Ryan once a day allows Diana to think, what if? Three years ago, Ryan Briggs was visiting a doctor every 30 to 60 days. 
Today, thanks to medical marijuana, Ryan sees a neurologist once a year. I never imagined, I never imagined or dreamed that we would get the control of his seizures with just a plant. Pennsylvania's medical marijuana industry brought in $132 million in sales in its first year. That's more than first year sales in neighboring New York, New Jersey, and Maryland. Some patients tell Fox 43 those numbers could even be higher if medical cannabis in the state was more affordable. We address that and numerous other issues still facing Pennsylvania's medical marijuana industry Thursday as our Fox 43 Focal Point Cannabis in the Commonwealth series continues. Matt Mazel, Fox 43 News.